notes. Let's go to our first fight, Paul Malinacci and Paul Delgado. The numbers. Delgado's four years older, two inches taller. He's about a one pound weight advantage and a two inch reach advantage, all for Delgado. Thank you, Tony Page. That's the tail of the tape between Malinaggi and Delgado. The rules, no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is in effect. The doctor or the referee can stop the fight, and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell at all. They are the key particulars for this fight. with the Bella Entertainment and Final Forum. Welcome you to Madison Square Garden. And tonight's heavyweight collision at the Mecca. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, later on this evening, the winner of our main event, which pits Vitaly Klitschko versus Kirk Johnson, will be presented with the New York Daily News New York City Heavyweight Championship. Now, let's meet our combatants for our next battle. Standing to my left, in the blue corner, reigning from Atlanta, Georgia, comes in with a record of nine wins, two losses, one draw, two wins by way of knockout, weighing in at 141 pounds, he is Paul The Truth Delgado! And to my right, in the red corner, with a record of 15 wins, no losses, undefeated, five wins by way of knockout, weighing in at already 140 pounds, local boy from Brooklyn, New York, Holy the Magic Man, Marlon Nage! Eight round junior welterweight fight. Your referee is Mike Ortega. They'll get their final instructions now. One more yeah, time. They've go. got them in the dressing room. Get your shirt off. As get Mike your shirt Ortega off. will bring them together. And then we will be underway with this rematch. Just to let you know, Dave, Paul Malinaji was on his cell phone during the introductions. The technical <laughs> age invades boxing. Hi, gentlemen. Hi, what is the rules? The dressing room, give me a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Referee okay, going through the instructions and the saying where the trunks are. are. Both of you guys, so I'll be what's too high, right. what's not. Shake hands, come out fighting. Let's go. And they tap it up and they get ready to go again. As I said, this is a rematch. Malinaji defeated Delgado in November of 2002. It was an eight round decision. Malinaji unbeaten. 15 0 mark. His last fight was an eight round decision victory over Jesus Santiago in October. A little more than six weeks ago, and Delgado had a victory over Martiz Logan on October 24th. So here we go, and these guys are getting their rematch. Dave Bontempo with Tony Page. Glad you're with us here at Madison Square Garden. Malinaji in the blue trunks. He's very quick, quick hands. Likes to move a lot. Nicknamed the Magic Man. A lot of flash. He said the last couple of fights, he's starting to settle down a little bit, turning more into a more pro style. We'll see what he has here against Delgado. It's always interesting when you fight a guy again, you need to at least point to a couple areas that you improved on. Yeah. Last right. fight was a split decision win for Malinaji, so now is a chance to really put an exclamation point that I can handle this guy, I don't have to face him anymore unless it was for a title shot. Or there's something I wasn't doing right in the last fight and I've corrected that you know, a year later and I'm on my way to right. becoming a complete fighter. So that's what's sort of at stake for these guys. Nice little left hook by Malinaji. Very quick, see where his hands are. I, I like to see Young fighters keep their left hand up. Malinaji's only 23. Right. Of course, Muhammad Ali spoiled everybody. Yes, he did. Thomas Hearns took it to the next level. <laughs> left hand down low. You invite a right hand so that you can counter. You always want to throw the up jab, but 
Not many guys really do it that well. No, and then when they do want to throw the jab, they bring it up and then shoot it. It's just wasting right. energy keeping it down there. Yeah, when you do that up jab in two parts, <laughs> you don't have the suspense. So they continue to tie up here now, the center of the ring. Just getting started halfway through the opening round. Scheduled for eight. As Malinaji tries to dig the body. Malinaji can stay outside and, and work his jab, work his footwork. Very good defensively. Gets inside. I don't know if that's his forte, but he's good from the outside. Gets in, gets out. Malinaji missing with a hook and then a right hand missed by Delgado. And the attempted shot in the back of the head was noted by Mike Ortega. I the feeling that Malinaji would just sit back, work that jab, keep taking a couple of steps back, make his man come to him. He just, he tattoo him all night. Sometimes you see he gets a little too close and he lets Delgado in. Now you can make it easy on yourself if you can be technically correct here, if you're Malinaji. Delgado might want to try to get in there and mug him a little bit. Only seven knockouts between the two guys, so you gotta you gotta really out hustle the other guy. And with that type of absence of knockout power, each guy should be willing to load up. Yeah. You know what he's you know what each other has. Get in there, throw some punches. You know they're gonna be in shape. If you have a pillow fight, at least have the stronger pillow. Nice little counter by Delgado. Right hand. So we come to the end of the opening round. Malinaji and Delgado just getting their rhythm together. He did jab a little busy. Stop banging him inside, right? He wants to hold. He's thinking you're going to hold. So you think you're going to hold, then you let go. When he wants to hold, then you hold. All right? He did jab busy. He got it. Everything busy. I got it. Everything just staying busy like you are. In and out, in and out with you. Mm -hmm. You see everything? Good. Good. Fast lane. Take this a little. You're good. Your timing is really good. You got them on the counters, baby. When you count on the counters, you got them. Now listen. Slip to the left and burst. Start working that muscle. Right. You can do it. All right, let's go. Second up. You're looking good, man. This is what you wanted, man. Second round action scheduled for eight in the junior welterweight division. Paul Delgado in the white trunks. He's nine, two, and one. Two knockouts from Atlanta, Georgia. Paul Malinaji from Brooklyn, New York, 15 and 0 with five knockouts. Malinaji owns a victory over Delgado in 2002. Delgado has come back with four wins and thus far has a perfect 2003 going. And he would need the win over Malinaji, the revenge win, to keep the year perfect as well. Malinaji having Delgado attack him here. Such a different fight than we were seeing in the first round. Yeah, Malinaji was, was scored with a couple of nice uppercuts toward the end of, let's say, the last third of the uh, first round. And I don't see him setting himself up to show to throw that punch again. And when he does flurry against, Malin against Malinaji, Malinaji can adjust that when he throws back, Delgado just covers and doesn't throw anything. The crowd kind of waiting to see who wants to take the initiative here. These guys are. Right now, sort of mirror images in terms of their style. They both want to start with the jab and then parlay off of that. And so they're looking like the same type of fighter. We'll see who adjusts first. It's funny, we always talk about the lack of jabs. I'm looking at the lack of left hooks right now. Yeah, with these guys and their knockout records, you see the jabs. Yeah. <laughs> Good right hand getting in from Delgado. And even Malinaji thought it was pretty good. One thing I don't like about Malinaji is even though he has five knockouts, I think he acts like he has 15. Like I can just take you anytime I want. He seems to load up instead of just doing the work and, and winning a nice decision. Like he's got fast footwork, but he should have capitalized there instead of posing. Now when you've knocked out five guys out of 15, you can't swagger. No. <laughs> you can wear some swagger. <laughs> I think the swagger rule would have to be like three quarters. Yeah. Delgado, he's not being busy enough. He's, he's 
needs to get in there, and he seems to be a little slow right. pulling that left jab back. Delgado nailed with the left hand as he was trying to throw a right hand quickly on the inside. Lunging forward now, and he's not getting in behind the jab now. He's trying to gamble a little bit more and work in and try for more powerful shots. It was funny, Delgado is closing the distance, but he's not jag jabbing his way in. And when he does get close, he's, he's kind of waiting. Like, sometimes it's nice to be a counterpuncher, but if you can take the lead, score a quick shot and get out, that, that's not a bad idea. And sometimes guys get in there and they say, okay, I'm here now, what do I do? Yeah, right? I worked my way in, now what? Well, they've got six more rounds to figure out, now what? Right. At least uh, on paper, as we come to the end of round two. Malinaji backing up a little bit. Nice kind of like left uppercut. Casey mm -hmm. bends down. Good shot right to the chest. Brings the left hook over. Gets him right on the head. And still another right hand. So Malinaji staying busy. Into round three we go. Scheduled for eight between Paul Malinaji in the blue trunks and Paul Delgado. Malinaji unbeaten, 15-0 with five knockouts. Delgado 9-2-1 with just two knockouts. Malinaji owns a victory over Delgado in 2002. So this rematch, a spirited affair for both. Malinaji again, trying to show a little swagger when he's only got the five KOs as he warded up a bolo shot. You know what, he's found the range with that right hand. As he takes a couple of shots to the back of the head. He's found the range with that right hand, but when he lands flush, he hasn't even wobbled Delgado. And Delgado's getting a little frustrated by holding and hitting behind the head. And Delgado trying to jab and get back into a pattern, but his jab's coming up short, and then Malinaji ties him up. What we're not seeing much of so far, Tony, is the body shots. No, Malinaji landed a good shot. We saw in that replay right to the chest, but good body shots around the ribs on the side. And, and again, I said the lack of left hooks, that's what come in uh, to play with that left hook. Now you see Delgado retreating. I don't know what uh, that's going to do for him. He's got to come in. He came in before, but he wouldn't jab his way in, and he wouldn't do anything when he got there. It's something how it illustrates the idea of getting off first. When Malinaji decides to try to get off first, Delgado instinctively heads back. Even if he doesn't get hit, he's out of position after the miss by Malinaj. Speaking about misses, so many of Delgado's punches are short right now. He's like jabbing from too far away. I think he's following, backing up from Malinaj and then trying to throw a punch, and he's a few inches back. And when he's right, when he backs up, he's taking himself out of range, and then he moves in, he's getting clocked by, Del by, uh, by Malinaj. Right now, this is turning into a sparring session. And for Malinaji, that would be quite all right. As he tried to control this behind his jab, Delgado is the one who should have a little bit more urgency. And he tries to do it here, being that he's trying to avenge a loss. Anytime you get a chance to avenge a loss, it's a nice opportunity. Many guys don't get the chance. Yeah, and you would think that you'd pick it up a little bit. And I think he did a little, little, little running of his mouth that got Malinaji wanting the rematch. Well, now you got him. You're not doing nothing. What was, what was that all about? You're here. You just wanted to paint it. You had a chance to dazzle people in front of Madison Square Garden, and you're just a couple seconds slow. It's pretty good that you could talk your way in. That's a feat in itself. Let's see what happens over the next five rounds as Malinaji and Delgado close the book on round three. Yeah. 
He's about ready now. He's about ready. Okay? Keep your jazz popping, all right? Three and four jazz. Stop working on one. Just work three and four with him for a while. Take everything off the jazz with him. He worked him inside good. He, 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 he don't want to fight inside. Then start putting them hard jabs in the body. Then up to the head with the same hand. Yo, when he's jabbing, step to your right and throw your right hand. Because he's coming in a straight line. Once you step over, the hand's out there already. All you have to do is count over the top of it. With that one, I want three and four shots after. All right. You get a nice look at the crowd here at Madison Square Garden, packed in. Big night of boxing before them, and into round four we head. Paul Malinaji in the blue, 15 and 0, five knockouts. Paul Delgado, nine, two and one, two KOs. Dave Bontempo, along with Tony Page, with you here at Madison Square Garden. I have Malinaji just breezing along, uh, 30 to 27. Well, that's real bad for Delgado in the sense that well, these have been quiet Thanks. rounds. Yeah. It's one thing if you lose definitive rounds, but if you're in a fight, three rounds go by and they've been quiet ones, you have to feel like you at least steal one of them to keep yourself in the fight. Even that, that last round, Malinaji, who had the round one, just did a nice little flurry in the last 10 seconds, which if, if a judge wasn't certain, definitely gave him the round. So. Delgado's got to get in there, and he's not really, you know, you want to see some fights where it turns into phone booth warfare. Delgado gets inside, doesn't do anything. I've seen no combinations on the inside once he gets there. He's got to pick it up. Malinaji's doing fine staying on the outside. Right. Now, maybe this explains the two knockouts for Delgado in 12 fights. You get on the inside, and you don't know where to pick it up from there. It's a sense of sequence and technique that you need. Especially when you, when you have a guy like Malinaji that likes to use his legs, there's, a, there's enough time in an eight rounder you can work the body for maybe a couple of rounds to try and slow him down, but then you got to change tactics. It's not like a 12 rounder where you can keep doing that for a while. Well, Delgado tries to fire some right hands. He is tied up by Malinaji. Malinaji just baiting him with that left hand down low, and Delgado scoring a little bit over the wide expanse. That is the opening. Now he is inviting Delgado to come in and fire everything. At some point in one of these fights, Malinaji's trainers, you know, are going to tell him, if you keep doing that, you'll pay somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I expect a little more urgency, as you were saying, out of Delgado's corner. You would think that the corner would pick up their intensity level to try and impress on their fighter. Hey, man, you're digging a hole and we ain't got a shovel to get yeah. you out of it. Going to shovel, it's only an eight-round fight, yeah. so you really have to come on as Malinaji lands a hook and Delgado tries to walk him down. And you know, the other thing is, it is a nice opportunity when you can get a rematch, but now if you lose to the same guy twice and he's not a champion, yeah, that doesn't look good for you. So a lot on the line for Delgado, but Malinaji is clearly outclassing him on the abilities it's not just Delgado not pouring in enough yeah so as we come to the halfway point Paul Malinaji doing just about everything he wants in this one <laughs> everything's moving smooth yo you inside, take a half step back to the right and shoot the right up hook up, all right? Uh, Start so shooting the right up hook up in the I body see it. first. I see it. All right. But we'll shoot him in the, in the body with it first. What? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. we we'll start setting him up for him. Because he's, he's starting to reach. You got Aaron Pryor here, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's up in the parking lot. Cool. Don't worry about Aaron Pryor right now. Right now, we're worrying about our greatness. Give this guy a little, little more. A little more. Get exhausted out there. Continue to punch the inside. We start round five, the second half of this scheduled eight-round junior welterweight battle. 
Paul Malinaji in the blue trunks has been in control against Paul Delgado, who is stalking without success. Well, at least uh, Delgado's trying to cut the ring off on him now, but uh, he's still not putting himself in the position to throw a legitimate punch. And you know, you talk about digging a hole. It's one thing if you dig a hole and you're a power puncher, mm -hmm. but when you're not, where that hole is real large. Right? Look at it now. Gee, if I win the next four rounds, I can get a draw. And that, that's asking a lot right now. Especially when you haven't won one, perhaps. If that, that's, uh, judges are seeing it the same way that we are here. Delgado just a little behind Malinaji in terms of speed. I like the way Malinaji uses his footwork. He's always, he always seems to be in the right position. He knows how to get out when he has to. Would be interesting to see him if he had a little more pop in his punches. What do you mean? He's, he's doing a workmanlike performance, uh, working behind the jab, not taking any risk. Yeah, he would say to that, to anybody who would criticize and say, look, you know, I'm winning rounds. Yeah. Hit and not get hit. But, hey, let's go. you know, it's 15 fights. Still learning a lot. Baby's only 23. You can't give the guy power. In fact, he just turned 23 last month, so you know, he's, he's still learning. And Delgado trying to mix on the inside with Malinaji, but finds Malinaji to be elusive. Probably a frustrating element for Delgado. When he gets into prime punching position, he'll either land a grazing blow on Malinaji or miss him by a couple let's inches. Go, work out. Let's go, let's go. Let him out. Come on, work out, push. And he's wondering what can I do to slow down Delgado when there's really, you know, you didn't you should have done that in the early rounds because it's only an eight-round fight. Delgado now coming in and trying to swarm, but as he does, he's always tied up by Malinaji. That's where had you landed the body shots in the first couple rounds, it slowed the guy a bit. Mm -hmm. And plus, you hit him to the body, he's always going to remember it. But you, you know, he, he, you haven't thrown a punch to make Malinaji say, oh, i got to watch out for this. And Malinaji with the left hand down low, baiting Delgado. But Delgado not reacting the way he would like to. And round five. Is coming to an end. Keep boxing. You right? So keep them coming. Doing good. Keep them hands flying. Keep them flying. Stop pulling back. Go underneath the shot. All right? All you gotta do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now how do we breathe? You're in excellent shape. You're in excellent shape. Now listen, it's all about the hustle. Look at me now. It's focus time. You know what? Listen to me. It's hustle time. When you hustle, it's wonderful. When you take time, it's not so wonderful. Okay. Hustle time, baby. It's okay. uncomfortable, but it's what's gonna bring you to bed. Let's go. All right, let's it's go. It's hustle time. Let's go. Stay cool. Bumping, Bumping ground. Bumping ground. Shooting them short. We start round six, scheduled for eight. Paul Malinaji trying to get his second victory in two years over Paul Delgado. Malinaji in the blue trunks is 15 and 0 with five knockouts, and Delgado nine, two, and one, two knockouts. They met in November of 2002. Malinaji got an eight-round decision. And Delgado talked his way into a rematch. Well, next time you better shut up. You gotta take advantage, you know. What did it say? Be careful what you ask for. You got it, but you didn't take advantage of it. Keeps, I mean, he keeps, he's not trying hard enough. Uh, the uh, attempts are coming in, in, in spurts. He needs sustained pressure. There's Malinaji digging to the body. Hey, we saw one. And another one. Surprising. Malinaji has the radar to find the ribs. He just doesn't throw it enough when he gets inside. 
He wants to keep going to the head. If you can do damage to the body, we know that. That was an arm punch from Malinaji, which we haven't seen in a while. Got to get some leverage behind those punches. Tries to dig into the body there. Hey, you know, when you're used to fighting and uh, you're winning rounds handily and it piles up fight after fight, I guess you get a little tentative about opening it up. You figure, I've got one way for sure that I can win, and you've been working on that. And so Malinaji reluctant to gamble. Break. Like he's doing, he's winning, and he knows he's winning. I don't think the guy can, the guy can hurt him, but you know, you don't want to take a chance to get cut, so you just stay on the outside and bang away. That left jab of his is getting in there every time he throws it. And the trainers will not say to him, well, you know, try to open it up and get in a brawl. They know that sooner or later, He'll be tested somewhere, and then they'll find out what kind of a fighter they have. If you don't want to fight the Delgado type of opponent over and over and over. You're proving the point to beat him twice. Four shots by Malinaji. I don't think the crowd's going to be behind him with that move. Bolo doesn't look good when you're winning. It certainly doesn't look good when you're losing. Delgado seems to be taking his own jab away. He's just walking in there and trying to throw his chopping right. There he should be jabbing his way in, but he's not. Delgado trying to get in and do the work, but as he gets in, they tie up, and it's a predictable scenario, and then they break again. So round six is going into the books, and Delgado slowly running out of time. Malinaji did some nice work to the body. There you see, just getting in position. Right hand sees the opening. Works the head, works the head. Guy bends over, crack, right to the ribs. And that hurt him, even though he said no. A good sense of sequence there by Paul Malinaji. As we head into round seven, scheduled for eight in the junior welterweight division. Tactically, Malinaji has had the edge and is fighting with increasing confidence now, even on the offensive side, as he senses things going his Break. way. I thought he was getting a little tired in his corner, but no, he seems to he's still got that, that win. Throwing a lot of flurries, punches and bunches. Let's go, work out it. Let's go. Let's see. Malinaji fires a couple, and Delgado Tried to bob and weave inside with his shoulder. He just kept moving and moving and found himself right on top of Malinaji. Right. But then back, unable to throw punches. Now Delgado has thrown away a few opportunities, Tony, where one way or another he got himself inside and just stopped there. Right. He's uh, not pulling the trigger a lot. You, know, you, you would think the way he gets inside and not pull the, the trigger, he's like 37 instead of 27. He just has oh, no confidence to throw any punches. Let him out, Paul. Let him out. When he gets inside, he doesn't do anything. Malinaji can tie him up. Won't throw the jab. Hasn't thrown any body work. You know, hasn't thrown any body work at all. Maybe one or two. Leaping hook here by Delgado. Malinaji back with a couple. And we haven't seen that Malinaji uppercut in quite some time. He was scoring with it early in the fight. He's got a chance to throw it there on the inside. It was setting up for him. And a right hand by Malinaji. It's a little bit more activity in this round Delgado leaps in there and he looks awkward when he comes in he's trying to set up a hook and he doesn't get the left hand off 
No, he's uh, there's so much of his game that's just coming apart tonight. You got to be able to pull the trigger. You got to get inside and throw the, the right kind of punches, and he's not doing any of that. He's holding that left hand up now. I don't I don't know what that's supposed to be because you you hold your left hand a little too far out. When you go to throw a jab, there's absolutely nothing behind right, step it. Back, step back, step back. It's got to be right from the shoulder. And he's push, bringing it out like a range finder. No, 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 and no, no. there's a right hand by Malinaji after Delgado missing wildly with the left hand. No, 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 no. And it's a slip. But that's a, an example of a, another technical mistake suffered by Delgado, the wild lunging shot. No, no, no. And not the jab to work into right. something oh, else. That department has been more of Malinaji's forte in this one. So we come to the end of round seven, and Paul Malinaji almost toying now with Paul Delgado. Delgado tried to mount one last offensive charge, and he just uh, missed altogether, went through the ropes. He's just trying to one last shot, misses it. And not that uh, Delgado, uh, uh, Malinaji did anything to him. He just, momentum took him out of the ring. Two big swings and two big misses. There you go. Final round. Will unfold Paul Malinaji and Paul Delgado. Malinaji 15 and 0 with five knockouts. Delgado 9, 2 and 1 with two knockouts. It has not been a scintillating affair, but it has been a good boxing showcase for Malinaji as he's been able to control the outside and he's been able to find Delgado to be a, a willing target because Delgado has been off balance throughout much of the fight. Now in the eighth round, you'll probably see them try a little bit more power as they know the end is near. Well, Delgado needs to let everything go right now. I mean, he's, I got him behind 70 to 63, so he needs about six knockout, six knockdowns to kind of pull back into the fight. Well, maybe he does need six knockouts. Yeah. <laughs> backhand, backhand. Malinaji has just been nowhere within the radar of Delgado's offense. He's able to back far enough away and Delgado doesn't have the foot speed to track him down. And this could end up being an instructional video for Delgado when his trainers look at it with him. But look, here you could have cut off the ring here. You could have thrown this combination there. It's a good, good fight that they'll pick apart for him. It's a video for, good video for both sides, uh, what to do and what not to do. Delgado had a lot of opportunities to get inside, and if you're a busy fighter, you score points, and he wasn't busy enough. And Malinaji, on the other hand, stayed outside. Worked the jab, got inside a little bit. See, you know, it's the second time I've seen him shake his right hand, so I don't know if it's hurt at all. Maybe just trying to, you know, get the, the hand a little more comfortable in the glove. Let's we'll see if he throws any right hands now. Break. Tie up. Break. Let him out. Let him out. Malinaji back, waving the back. right hand a little bit. Shaking it there on the clinch. Delgado. Don't backhand, don't backhand. Delgado should sense that with no right hands coming. Mm -hmm. Maybe the guy doesn't have that full weapon. He should go after him, but look how off balance he is when he goes after Malinaji. So we we'll see him throwing the right hand. Maybe he tweaked it a little bit in there. Malinaji, you know, he's, he's giving the angle where he can shoot that left jab and do damage with that. So in the final 30 seconds of the fight, it does not look like Paul Delgado has the resources to overcome seven rounds of change. Uh, Paul Malinaji taking it to him and outboxing him and just out hustling him. And it looks like Malinaji will win two in a row over Delgado, but We'll wait for the official verdict of the judges. 
Malinashi gets fall, 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 fall. a mixed reception by going up. He's the hometown guy now, and they're not really embracing him. Well, I, I got uh, Malinashi with a shutout, 80 to 72. Malinashi able to move, and really Delgado gave him plenty of openings. And he just tapped him all night. So it seemed to be not a uh, uh, difficult task here for the judges. Joe, Joe. Paul Malinaggi, a junior welterweight from Brooklyn, New York, took what was given to him tonight. And what was given was a lot from Delgado. Left himself open, lunged, and when he got inside, did not put a lot of offense together. Now it's just those few moments where the fighters wait for the numbers to come through. And questions for both. Delgado's corner wing. Wonder why he didn't press the attack more. And for Paul Malinaggi, don't wonder at what point they can move him up into bigger stakes. Does he have to get into a fight first where he gets in a slugfest and gets challenged and the chin gets tested? Will that be the time that they'll know? got some time to figure that out yet I think he has a bright future he just has to you know work on it so we're just moments away from having this one become official and let's get it now from Sid Rosenberg and the mic will be on soon He's getting the microphone checked out. But this Thanks is a split decision oh, to kill you. Let's go to the scorecards. Judge Mocanti has the fight. 79-73, Malignaggi. Judge Dwyer has the fight. 79-73, Malignaggi. Julie Letterman has the fight, 80 to 72, and the winner by unanimous decision, now 16 and 0 from Brooklyn, New York, Paulie, the Magic Man, Malignaggi. Well, Paul Malignaggi does put it in the books and makes this one look easy. Yes, he did. Nope.